Oh, I thought it was dry ice or frozen CO2 solid from a refrigerated food shipment is thrown into a standard American toilet filled with tap water. What happens here is the dry ice sublimates and turns directly from a solid into a gas, taking tiny droplets of water, trillions of them, and forming a cold vapor smoke or vapor. This is water vapor. Because of the cold temperature of the water vapor, it sinks. This is frequently done in punch bowls at parties, deliberately, to add a Halloween-like effect. Uh, spooky. You can see if I blow, it clears the vapor, and you can see the CO2 and water vapor bubbles forming. The chunk of dry ice goes all the way to the bottom of the toilet. Be careful not to do this with too much dry ice, or the temperature differential can actually crack the porcelain. That, of course, depends on the inside temperature of your home. Nonetheless, if you have small children or children at all, and you get one of these food packages, and the chilling container inside or the ice cooling block still has solid CO2 or dry ice in it, this is a fun way. You just hold the dry ice bag over the toilet and then cut it with scissors, allowing the dry ice to drop directly into the water. I would refrain from touching the dry ice directly because it's negative 40 Fahrenheit or negative 40 centigrade or colder and can cause damage to your skin, denaturing it, known as frostbite, and that will kill the tissue. It feels like a burn, but it's kind of different, so be careful with dry ice if you play with it. Also, do this in a well-ventilated space.